Yeah, buddy. We got uh, some frames built here. It uh, worked out okay. I didn't uh, measure the squares and, and, and account for that, but so we got a little bit of tight fit on the squares. We got six inch squares here. I ordered some five inches to see if that'll be better. Cause these pots are 24 by 20 and we got three rows. Let's see if you can see this here. Three rows each way. We're 6, 12, 18 inches. So we're spreading 18 inches over 24 on the long side. And just so you can kind of see here how it bows in like that. So I also, I left two rows hanging down on each one. It was probably a little much. It makes it look a little busy. A little too busy for me. So we'll see what we can trim out of there. But I ordered, uh, like I said, the, the uh, five inches. So I'm hoping we can go four rows and that'll be like 20 inches. So it won't be so much of a stretch. And then I won't have to go on the outside edge. Let me show you here. I don't really like having to go out of this outside edge like this, but if I don't, I'm not really spreading. So when they get heavy, they're gonna have the squares below them to fall on, and I can uh, sling them up, kind of like I did over here with these cages. You see these cages I spread on the outside of them. And uh, those heavy dongers, I just hold them up with the, with the wire there. So I can do the same with these and everything. But I think I'm gonna like these a lot better. These are sturdy. I mean, these tomato cages, you can't really tell, but man, when I move these around, I, I 360 these plants to trim them and everything. And uh, so these tomato cages, I gotta be real careful. And these, man, sturdy. I made them a little too tall. I made them as tall as the cages, um, just to see. But I guess we, we don't know if they're too tall yet, but I think they're gonna be. So we can cut those down. I'm not the kind of guy that just like figures all the math out and does everything. I just kind of put it up, put it together, see what it is, take it apart if I need to, redo it. Um, I ain't no engineer. But yeah, we got the uh, Tropicana Cooks here. These three, one, two, three. And then the Plum Crazy Cake. These two on the end. Yeah, you can't really see them so good anymore. Girls are caged in. Bubba Shine T13 has plants. See how the rolling, rolling shots work. Probably kind of shitty. <laughs> but yeah, here's the uh, Bubba Shine G13 has plants. These three. Let's see, they got a compost tea last week. And I hit them with the uh, Biofoss. And what else did they get? Uh, enzymes for root wise. Um, oh, coconut. Coconut water powder. We got coconut. There's one. There's two. These still aren't confirmed, confirmed females yet. They said female from uh, Farmer Freeman. But uh, a couple of them are shooting white hairs. Should have found those so I can point them out to you, but next video we should know for sure. So, yeah, that's it. One thing I don't like is I don't know how much light these PVCs are blocking, you know. I'm sure it's still getting down in there, but and this is as low as I can lower them. Which really with the with the wires, with the, the cable I got, it's as low as I can go anyway. So yeah, I might as well do a little grow room look around. I got the um, carbon filters up there, the clean and the odor, the Quest up there, um, like a hot 155 pint or some shit like that, uh, CO2 generator, I forgot what kind but it doesn't really matter, um, I drain my water into my tank so I use all that water, my mini split, let's see, over here, mini split I drain in there too, I got that ghetto funk tape job. <laughs> Taping don't work, but it's all I can do one handed. So, um, I got a buddy with these zip ties and screws, and I'm gonna gotta have them put a couple more out there pretty sweet. And then, uh, straight up, another uh, another carbon filter. Probably gotta change these outer things on them. I've only changed them once in about a year, year and a half. 
and three fans on each side. There's the sensor for the uh, CO2 burner. I just got the light covered. That's all that is. The light leaking. I used to dry in here, so those are my wires from drying. I got that uh, third fan off right now because I was sitting over there and it was making noise for you guys. That fan's dirty. So I will get cleaned. Uh, you know what? Doing this perpetual now, I used to just clean every round the fans. And it uh, looks like I got slacked because I got always got plants in here now. So that's going to get clean tomorrow. That's it. These are just going to continue on with some water. Uh, probably hit them with some build a -Boom And uh, ride them out. Keep them. I got to defoliate. Uh, these are day 11 or 12 or something like that. Something in that range. So I'll hit them around 18, 20, 20. And then probably the last run around day 28, around four weeks, I like to give them a nice strip. And then you end up like that. Let's focus. Where you don't have really any fan leaves. I mean some, but most of these are just sticking right off the butt or something. They're not big old long stemmers or anything, you know. But yeah, appreciate all the love. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Share it if you want other people to see it. What else is there? Yeah. Do something good for somebody today or tomorrow if nothing comes up today. Peace and love.